YouTube, it's Nikki from Nikki Lily. Now, I wanted to kind of do a Pamper Essentials video for a while, which is basically where I tell you my essentials for when I do like a pamper night or a pamper day. And yeah, let's jump in. So the first thing I think is definitely an essential for me, and this is this Body Shop Cooling Eye Mask. Now what it is, is you pop it on your eyes for about 10 to 15 minutes and you strap it onto the back of your head with Velcro. And it's really, really good. It basically just de-puffs and cools your eyes and kind of calms your eyes down. And it's really, really great. I really love it and it's definitely relaxing. What you do is you put it in the freezer for, I think, five minutes and then you pop it on your eyes. It is very cold on your eyes, but it definitely does wonders and I definitely recommend it. It's a very, very weird but wonderful invention. Now, the next thing I think you always need on a spa day or a pamper day is a lip balm. Now, it doesn't matter what lip balm you choose, you know, it's your preference. So, if you like a Nivea one, then use a Nivea one. If you like a EOS lip balm, then use an EOS lip balm. But the one that I've definitely noticed that does really great things for my lips is this one by first aid and it's their ultra repair lip therapy i really love this i think one because it comes in a tube i really like lip balms that come in tubes and it smells uh like just uh mint and i love the smell of mint and it just does wonders for my lips it just unchaps them so quickly and yeah i just really love this now on to the last thing i think you really need is music i've just got my ipod here and i just think music's a really great way to also disconnect from the world and i love music so much and i've definitely been loving james bay recently so i've bought nearly his whole album on my ipod and yeah just music's a really great way great way great way to disconnect from the world and is a great way to relax you okay so the next thing i think you always need on a pamper day is a mask now i think masks are so brilliant and so fun to do with your friends or just by yourself at home whilst watching a bit of netflix so the one i really love and have has done wonders for my skin is this one by sanctuary spa it's their five minute thermal detox mask I really love this because there's so much product in it. I'm still use this like I'm still using this and I've had it since last year August and I use it once a week. So it's really amazing. And what it does is you leave it on for five minutes and it basically just kind of heats up whilst it's on your face. And basically what it does is it just takes out all the impurities and blackheads from your nose and your face. So it's really, really great and I definitely recommend it. You definitely get your money's worth. Okay, so on to the next thing I think you always need, it is a hand cream. Now any hand cream works, but I really love the Body Shop hand creams, especially the Wild Rose one. One, because it smells of roses and I love the smell of rose. And two, because it's got SPF 15 in it. Now you might think that's not very important on a pamper day, but just say that you wore it and you went out on a hot summer's day, it would just help your hands not get burnt. And yeah, I really love this. Okay, and then for the other thing that I really love is a good book. I'm currently reading this book called If I Stay. It's really, really great. And it's um, written by Gail Foreman, which I love. Her books are amazing. And she was actually the one who wrote this book for If I Stay, the movie, which is also so amazing. And it is pretty sad. So I wouldn't recommend getting this book or watching the film if you don't really like a sad kind of film but it's really really great this book and I just really like it and I kind of sometimes have to like draw myself away from reading the book because I kind of once had this time where I read, read this book for an hour and I realised I hadn't eaten anything so it's a really, really great book, but kind of you have to draw yourself away from you it. You can all probably agree with me when I say a spa day is not... I keep saying spa day. A spa slash pamper day is not complete without a candle. This one smells amazing. I've not finished it, and I've had it since Christmas, so I kind of feel bad saying that this is my favourite candle, but because it's not Christmas anymore, but I really love it. And it's the Yankee Christmas Cookie Candle. 
Oh my god, it smells so amazing. It just smells like you had just made cookie mixture and you're about to put it in the oven and oh, it just smells so good. I love this candle because it burns for a really long time and also because it never leaves kind of a smoky black residue around the jar. So I really love this and it fills the room up so lovely with the scent of it. And to the next thing that I always think you need, you can probably tell what it is from the packaging. It's a bath bomb, preferably from Lush, but any bath bomb will do. I recently got this one from Lush, which is a rabbit bath bomb part of their Easter collection. But when you see this, Easter will have gone. If I can turn it around. It's so cute. Just looks like that. It's a little bunny. And I just think bath bombs are so relaxing and so fun to use on a pamper day. And I just love Lush. Okay, so now it's on to the more random things. I've only got two of these, but the first thing that I think you always need are some cosy slippers or cosy socks or some hand warmers or a hot water bottle. I should have included a hot water bottle, so also you should use a hot water bottle because they are so relaxing. But I think fuzzy, cosy socks are the best thing just to pop them on your feet and... Oh, they're just so great and comfy to wear. Now, I really love these ones from Earth Therapeutics because they are aloe vera infused, so they always make my feet feel a lot more moisturised and less dry. So I really love these and any fuzzy socks that are cosy. Now, the last thing I wanted to say is the first thing I like to do is just grab my phone and right now my phone isn't charged but I like to grab my phone and just switch it off and disconnect from the world because oh <laughs> because really when you're on your phone your brain's staying really active and your eyes kind of go a bit funny and you know your brain's staying awake and not relaxing really so when you switch your phone off and like completely off and just close your eyes or read a good book and just disconnect from the world, disconnect from your worries. I find it so calming and so relaxing. I think everyone could agree that they think that too. So I hope you liked this video everyone and it was kind of fun to see what I love and would definitely have to have with me on a pamper slash spa day. And it's really fun to do with these with your friends, mum and dad, or your family or yourself so I always do these with my mum my friends or sometimes just me and I do these literally once a week and they definitely help me and I get so excited at the end of the week when it's time for me to have an at-home pamper day so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments down below what other videos you'd like me to do and what your pamper day essentials are and also follow me on all my social medias which I will link down below Below to see what I get up to and have more updates on me and I will see you soon. Bye everyone, have a lovely day.